let's let's Sahira. make you let's make you big here, Sahira. Let's see. Replace spotlight. There we go. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good morning or afternoon or evening as the case may be, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> right? Time zones again. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Can I just say that was amazing. Siobhan, I loved your workout. I had to stop halfway through because I was like, I can't come on here all like sweaty and disheveled. <laughs> yeah. You got you to gotta get sweaty and disheveled while teaching us. I know. Right? Exactly. I was like, whoo, that was intense. I loved it. I, I was great. super tempted to, I, to sign up for her, for her thing. I know. So. Right. I'm probably going to do it in January. I need a break after the bundle. Cause I got to jump into <laughs> my bundle sure. stuff, but for no, January. I was impressed. I was like, are you planking out there on no sleep? Like what yeah. the heck, Tiffany? <laughs> I slept for two hours last night, baby. I'm doing this. <laughs> So nobody all has day. any excuse. If Tiffany's doing it, we can all do it. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is that during this dance, I'm just going to be beat, like beating the crap out of these balloons the whole time because there's know. nowhere to dance. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I didn't think about that when I planned my decorations. All right. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Take it away. Make it, make it happen. You're the best. I love you so awesome. much. Awesome. Yeah. Mwah, I love you too. Thank you for doing this, Tiffany. This is so much fun. I've been like tuning in all morning, like, brushing my teeth, watching some belly dance. Like it's awesome, a full day of belly dance. And I love that it's just kind of like a little sneak peek of all the fabulousness that is available in the bundle. So um, hello everybody, I'm Sahira. If you don't know me, I'm here in Houston, Texas, and I am super excited. This is my third year with the bundle and I love it. It is kind of my favorite belly dance thing ever. Um, and so I'm here today. I was gonna share with you a little, a little class. Uh, and after that intense workout, I thought maybe we could all just take a breath and do something a little bit more relaxed because perhaps you need a moment to, to sip your coffee or I was eating my, my breakfast too, <laughs> wherever you are. So I wanted to work on um, some detail work with hands because I love beautiful, gooey, flowy hands. And then of course, for those of you who did the 21 day challenge and did my challenge, I'm all about expression in the dance because expression is something that I cannot control. Uh, and so I decided to make that part of my challenge and part of the offering that I have, the drum solo offering for those of you who've already jumped in. I have to say, I'm, I'm so thankful for everyone's comments and those of you who are jumping into my class first in the bundle, I'm very, very honored. And I would love to know actually, if people are in the chat, what are you gonna do first in the bundle? Because I'm having a hard time deciding. I redeemed all the things I can redeem, but I don't know where to start yet. So let me know where you're starting and maybe I can start in the same place as you we can be like study buddies or something because I just there's too, there's too much good stuff. I've already signed up for Siobhan's lecture and I've got it on my calendar, so I will be there with bells on. I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, let me know in the chat what uh, class you're going to jump into in the bundle first. And you don't have to say mine unless it's the truth. I won't be offended because there's so much awesome stuff going on. So I can't wait. So anyway, if you need a second to just take a deep breath after that workout, I have to admit I gave myself like the last five to ten minutes off so that I could. Do you sweat? Go ahead and do that. Take a quick drink. We're going to be working on hands and probably a little bit of face uh, with expression uh, for the next 20 minutes or so. So feel free to come up close to your camera. One of the things that I love about online learning, because so much of us have been doing so much online learning in the past several months, as much as you know, we miss that sort of in-person connection and there are things that are definitely less awesome about online, there are things that are more awesome about online and I want to sort of uh, use that and really, really get into that today. What, one of the things I love is the ability to get up really close to the camera and really connect, maybe even in a creepy way with you because you're right there, right? I feel like when you are in an online class, you always have a front row seat and I as a teacher have the ability to like highlight exactly what it is I want you to see and show you intense detail that you wouldn't be able to do in a live class uh, unless you were eerily close to me, right? And so this is kind of cool. So this is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna get really close to the camera because I'm talking to you and I want you to dance with me right now, yeah? So let's do this. Let's do a little bit of a hand warm up. I'm just gonna warm up the hands. I'm gonna talk to you about a couple sort of, I would almost say basic as in they are integral, but not necessarily easy hand movements that are sometimes kind of glossed over as we focus on hips and chest and all the really like fun shimmies and whatnot in belly dance. So we're gonna talk about hands and then we're gonna have a fun little like dance challenge at the end using our newfound hand movements and our face. Yeah, so go ahead and just start with some fists and we're gonna roll the wrists outside. So we're gonna take them, roll them around, it makes my hands look gigantic. 
I actually have very small hands, but they look really big in the camera. So rolling the hands out and now go ahead and roll them in. It should feel really good in and along the forearms, especially after that workout. Or if you're a, an avid ziller like me, the stretch always feels fantastic. Yeah. Excellent. Shake that out. And now open the hands wide and I'm going to have you close the hands one finger at a time, starting from the pinky, bringing it in, flipping it over and then opening it up one finger at a time, starting at the thumb and then flip it over again. Pinkies in, flip it over and then thumbs out. Let's do that one more time. Pinkies in, oh, really stretch and thumbs out and shake that out. Excellent. All right. So now let's go ahead and push the hands together here. Bring those shoulders around back and down. Nice long neck. You can push the hands side to side. Only do what is comfortable for you. Everyone has different hand flexibility. So if there's anything that doesn't feel good, don't push it. This should feel good, you know, but it should not be painful. So always take it to your own level. You do you, right? Flip it over and stretch it there. Nice. And now we'll do one finger to one finger, taking the same fingers, overlapping them completely and then just gently pushing. Once again, it should be like one of those, ah, ooh, yeah, that feels good, and not an ow sort of thing. So keep it within your realm of motion, taking the middle fingers, pushing them there, warming them up. You should start to feel a little bit of tingling going on in your fingers, waking them up. Yeah, let's take those ring fingers. Ooh, this one's always a challenge. And then we'll do the same with the pinky. Excellent, then take your thumbs also. Just push them against each other and give them a nice little wake up. Excellent, okay, so I wanna do a couple of, like I said, basic hand movements that I use all the time in my dance, but until I started really breaking them down for my students, I realized they're very easy to gloss over and very easy to not use to their fullest capacity, right? So the first one we're gonna do is a hand wave and we're gonna practice this, I call it, the inchworm. We're going to think about like if you have a table in front of you, perhaps, or your computer desk or whatever, we're going to imagine that your hand is an inchworm that's trying to crawl forward on the desk, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the, the palm in towards the fingers, and then we're going to inch that over and allow the fingers to flatten out again. Bringing the palm into the fingers, roll it out and inch it forward. So this tiny little inchworm is crawling along your desk, yeah? Bring the palm up and around. So you're really lifting in the wrist. One of the things that I find, one of the, the exercises I do with my hand and one of the stretches that I like to do to really increase hand flexibility and, and just uh, gooeyness in your handwork is this idea of being able to lift your wrist without having your fingers point down. So here's a little challenge and then we'll inchworm with the other hand. So if you bring your palms down here, bring the fingers tip to tip. And I want you to imagine lifting your wrists up, but I want you to also imagine not dropping your fingers down, right? So we're not lifting the wrist and dropping the fingers. I want you to think lift the wrist. You can bring the hand straight out in front of you if that's easier. Lift the wrist and fingers point straight forward. So what you're getting is a curvature in the back of the hand. Once again, depending on your hand flexibility and how much you've done with hand work, this might not happen and that's okay, right? So you wanna sort of play with the idea and see what happens in your hands when you lift that wrist and try to imagine shooting energy out of your fingers straight towards the other wall, right? So what we're aiming for is this like sort of reverse curvature in the hand to create our beautiful inchworm, right? So I'm gonna try on the other side now. So taking our inchworm, using that idea, you're lifting the wrist but not dipping the fingers down. Then you're going to curve the fingers up and over because they're staying on top of that table and inch your inchworm forward, right? Lifting the wrist, pulling the fingers up and over to inch your inchworm along. Let's try a couple more little inchworms here. Uh-huh, lifting the wrist and then taking it down. I can just imagine everyone's little inchworm inching behind their coffee cup that they were just drinking. Yes, excellent. So let's try them both at the same time. So we've got our hands as our hand wave, right? And the important thing here, what I really like to focus on is that upward musculature energy, right? So what I'm not doing is pushing the fingers down. I'm not dipping my fingers in. And there's no right, no wrong. This is just like the way I enjoy doing it. And I feel like it has a really beautiful energy to it and allows me to use the full motion of my fingers and make it a very upward energy, which is very pretty. 
Yeah, I also sometimes think of this movement as like pulling a tissue out of a tissue box really delicately, right? If you take your belly dance hands, I'm thinking about that middle finger being slightly dropped and the thumb being in towards it, I, zil hand, right? If you think about your zil hands and allow those two fingers to gently pick up your Kleenex out of the box, right? It's all very mysterious when we involve Kleenex. You can think about pulling that up and creating that hand wave or that little inchworm by really utilizing the wrist muscles, the fingers, and allowing all of that to then flow through to the tips of the fingers, yeah? Now, of course, you can do this. Let me angle my camera a little bit here. You could do this in many different places. I can do this down at the hips, which is very beautiful, right? So I do this often when I'm doing hip work to sort of draw attention to that hip work. We can do it out to the side, right, within an arm pattern, but I'm still utilizing this moment. You'll see I come through this beautiful curvature of the hand and it's a subtle idea, but it adds so much. I can do it here. Let's see if I scoot down, right? I can do it here to create a frame around the body. And all of that is utilizing just those little inchworms, right? Just the, the hand wave. But I want you to focus on, and you can start to feel it, yeah, in the wrist. I start to feel it in the wrist and the forearm because I'm using all of those muscles. With everything we do, arms and hands especially, but even body movements, if you can really imagine the muscles pushing you through heavy air as opposed to something that's not very hard to do because the air is not heavy and it's pretty easy to do this. But if instead of doing this, I imagine that it's something heavier that I'm swooshing into chocolate fudge or something similarly delicious, peanut butter. I'm a big fan of peanut butter. Then you can really use the muscles to create really intentional hand movements, yeah? How's that going? Yeah, let me know. Give me a thumbs up in the chat. Give me all, all fingers up in the chat. Give me wrists up in the chat. Excellent, Tiffany tells me it's going well. Wrists are up in the chat and you guys are doing well. I love questions too. So if you have any questions, Tiffany's on hand to check out your questions. I will be happy. To answer them. So let's move on to this other movement that I'd like to detail. And this is the floreo or the wrist circle. And here's the thing that I want to detail about this, especially if you're newer to the dance or haven't spent a lot of time really looking at hand movements in much detail because we get excited about all the other stuff. A wrist circle is a circle of the wrists, right? Which seems pretty apparent. But what I see a lot of dancers do early on and even further on into their training when they are thinking about other things is it turns into a finger circle, right? So let me just show you. If I'm thinking about a wrist circle, I'm thinking about my wrists creating a circle and the tips of my fingers essentially stay in place. And that wrist, you'll notice, circles around. It's created kind of a half circle up and over like a rainbow as opposed to this which is also a circle, but honestly, like my wrist is not really circling. My fingers are circling, right? My fingers are dropping down and circling. Once again, no right, no wrong. I think all of these are fabulous movements, but I am a huge fan of lifted wrist circles that create that upward energy that really utilize the muscles in the wrists and the fingers and create handwork that is mesmerizing, right? Which is what we're, what we're aiming for. So what do I think about with this wrist circle? This is, this is a, a visual mnemonic that I've been using for years and I really like it. I can't even remember where it came from at this point, but we're gonna imagine we have a million dollar hourglass that's set, it, set on a table. So it's an hourglass perhaps full of diamonds, let's say, and it's sitting on a table about yay high for now. We're gonna have shoulder and elbow in alignment with the wrist and we're gonna pick up that hourglass. So like, so like if we actually had it, you're not picking it up here, you actually have to have space in between your fingers to pick up your million dollar hourglass and you're gonna lift it up and over and set it back down on the table, right? Set it back down on the table. Now you don't wanna break it, so you have to take your fingers and shift them behind, and then you're gonna wave back around so that you can pick up that hourglass again, right? Being very careful that as you lift it, you do not smash it through the table, thus losing all your diamonds on the floor, right? Wave that hand behind, and then creating kind of a, a hello, you're waving to your audience, up and over, to set that hourglass back down on the table so the diamonds can begin to run until time. And then wave behind again. Let's try it one more time on that side and then we'll do the other hand lifting up and over. Yeah, so you're getting a rainbow in the wrist from outside to inside and then a rainbow in the fingers from inside to outside. Yeah, as opposed to this, right? Smash, smash, as opposed to this, right? Where we're getting a finger circle and we have, we have essentially lost millions of dollars in diamonds that day. Yeah. So let's try the other, let's try the other side. Let's try my, my, 
special bus hand like this, this hand always needs a little bit of extra love and attention because it has a little bit more of a challenge with everything, my non-dominant hand, yeah? So we're taking this and we're going to lift it up and over using space in between the fingers. We are sneaking the fingers behind and we are waving, hello. We're saying, hi, mom. And then we're lifting it up and over, creating that rainbow from outside to inside, taking the fingers behind. Yeah, I can give you a view from here. Look, the beauty of the online class. Here it is from this angle, taking it up and over, waving behind so I don't break it. And I'll give you a view from here, Ooh, picking it up and over. And now, as we're doing this, here's another little challenge. Check out your elbow. What is your elbow doing? Ideally, like almost nothing, right? So what you don't want to do is create all this luscious movement in your hand by using your elbow, right? So I'm not using my elbow. I'm trying to keep that elbow as stationary as possible as I feel the movement in my wrist, as I feel my wrist and my lower arm start to get involved to create this up and over, slide the fingers through. Yeah, let's do it one more time. We're circling those wrists. So we're going crazy slow, right? Which we might not necessarily do in full usage, but I always encourage my students, go slow. Because when you go, go slow, you can see all of those details. Because when you go fast, sometimes it's easy to gloss over things and not even realize it. So now we have two million dollar hourglasses and we're going to lift them up and over let the hand sneak through and then snake it behind. Yeah, lifting them up and over. Fingers sneak from outside to inside and then they wave hello from inside to outside, right? And if I take this and I back this up and I put it over my head, same idea. So now I'm up over my head, but I'm still doing everything I can to lift the wrist up because it's a wrist circle, right? So I'm really trying to get that energy in the wrist, lifting the wrist up and over. And we can take this on the road, we can bring it lower. We can bring it all the way down to the hips. Yeah, so anytime we use these wrist circles, while if it is faster and I'm using them, say, you know, just in a slightly more kind of relaxed manner, maybe they're not gonna be totally matched. Maybe they're gonna be a little bit softer and a little bit lighter and not quite as muscular. But what I'm always doing is creating that circle with the wrists, right? I'm always aiming to allow the wrists to be what lifts up and over. So I'm truly creating a wrist circle and not so much the fingers driving the movement. Yeah, is that working? Can I get a wrist up in the chat? Everyone is, everyone is good, you're getting it, excellent. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these two ideas and to really focus on, because it's so rare that we focus on just our, just our hands, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna use only our hands. Yeah, so I'm gonna put on some music and we are going to play with dancing with only our hands. If you would like to use any other part of your body, the only other part of your body I'm gonna allow you to use for today is your face, because that's my favorite part of the body to dance with, and it's also one that we often overlook. So I'm gonna put on some music. This is music by my dear friend, Lauren Cecchio, who is a drummer in Austin, Texas. She's absolutely amazing, and I love her music. She's also a fabulous Zill player and offers Zill classes. Um, but let me, let me share my sound here with you, Tiffany, to make sure that we are good here, sharing sound. Let me turn on this music and you tell me how this sounds. Is that volume good and you can hear me? Excellent, all right, so that gives us a little something gooey to dance with. And you're welcome to do this seated if you want, because there's gonna be no hip movement, no chest movement, it's just hands and faces. Yeah, or you can stand up because it's really hard for me to dance sitting down, but whatever works for you, you go ahead and do that. And we're gonna use those two movements, yeah? Amazing. You can change your stance. Can offset the hand. Is your face dancing? Maybe switching to your wrist circle. My chest is moving, sorry. Stop moving chest. amazed 
by what your hands do. I learned this from Aziza like 15 years ago. Can you be amazed? job everybody so tell me I don't know put put in the chat how did that feel was that weird was that fun was it cool <laughs> was it strange <laughs> hopefully it was a little bit of all of those things because I find anytime I learn something new there's that moment of oh this is this is really weird <laughs> and then and then finally it starts to get into your body and you're like okay this is cool I might be able to work with this so I hope you enjoyed this little focus on hands and, and face uh, and I hope that you'll find ways to incorporate that into your dancing. And I hope that perhaps you will use these new moves as you work through your belly dance bundle classes. <laughs> Sahira, that was awesome. I feel like my wrist, like, like Siobhan got me all sweaty and then you got, like, you made it, like if wrists could be sweaty, <laughs> they would be well, sweaty yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, I want to read you some of the things that were going on in the chat while you were yeah. talking. So wrists up. Everybody was doing hands in the chat. <laughs> they yes. found everybody found their own way to do wrists up, wrists up in the chat. Um, so let's see here. We had um, some people are starting with Amanda Rose's core, her shabby class. I was um, thinking of the same thing. Yeah, yeah, because it, it's the only one that has like a time period that it's available. So um, mm -hmm, that's smart that she's going to start with that and then come back to it again before it leaves. Uh, but she says this is really funny. Amelia's bought the bundle several years in a row now. Um, and uh -huh. she says she always saves your class for last. Saves my class for last? Yep. She says every time. <laughs> oh, hopefully because she really is looking forward to it. Oh, like yeah. that last bite on your plate as yep. opposed to a like, yeah. well, I suppose <laughs> I'll do that one now. No, she says, <laughs> she says it's something left. to look forward to is what she says. Oh, thank there. you. That's so sweet. I love it. Thank you. Um, let's see. Some <laughs> people are starting with Florence and Esmeralda's classes. Um, Esmeralda's documentary that's in there that's like half dance, half like finding your own style half like her journey is mm -hmm. so good it's such a great place to start if you're like sitting on the couch and you don't necessarily oh, feel like dancing you can watch yeah. it and then dance with Ooh. it later um because like, i'm glad you said that because from the description i couldn't quite figure out what it was it's so like, I was like ah, I'll that's I'll when she it described later, it to me amazing. it was like that too i was like what exactly is this and so she showed it to me and i actually believe now that um this is what like biopics of dancers have to be is this this okay. like mix of teaching dance but also story but also history it's very interesting i highly suggest Ooh. anybody who jumps in the bundle um jumps into that because it's a really easy way to get started you just like pop it on and lay in bed with your laptop and like oh hang that out. perfect and then like <laughs> the next day you can be like okay and i'm gonna go back and like find the pieces where she was teaching and now i'm gonna try and do some of these these bits but you're going to be inspired awesome to get to up. know okay great well thank you for telling me that because i wasn't sure what to make of it so that sounds amazing um someone's daughter came in and asked if you were a model because you're so gorgeous oh, <laughs> oh thank you tell her tell her her checks in the mail <laughs> <laughs> okay everybody is they're loving it. Everyone's loving Yay. it. If risk could be sweaty. Yes. <laughs> Siobhan <laughs> is in is in for what I said there. 
I guess that's why they made those old school like sweatbands for your wrist, like back in the eighties. I never understood those, but that's it. That's it. It was for belly dancers. It was for the zil. We need to bring those back. (laughs) I love it. We need to bring those back. I did um a while back. I did a a fusion, like choreography to um want to dance with somebody by Whitney Houston with all my students, and it was all eighties themed, and we all had like sweatbands and and had it was. Yeah, it was great. I'm gonna send you the video. <laughs> You'll I love it. I want to see it. That sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm <laughs> such a child of the '80s. That's perfect. <laughs> awesome. Everyone who is watching, everyone who is watching the replay, it's up for a couple days. So Heroes Class is available immediately when you buy the bundle. You can buy the bundle, redeem Heroes Class, start dancing yeah. with her like same day. Um, it is a drum solo class. Lots of people have already jumped into it. I've gotten several emails saying that people, I'm starting with Sahira. I'm starting with Sahira. Oh um, my gosh. Yeah, it's home. it's really great. So it's there for you. If you want, if you're watching on the website, you can hit the buy button below. If you haven't picked up your bundle, it's only on sale until Wednesday. That's it. And then it's gone forever. Every year people miss it. So like, don't, don't procrastinate. Don't do it because it might make you sad and you don't want to be sad. I want you don't to be, be happy. Sad. I want you to dance, come with, dance us. with me. Come dance with us. Come on, come on. Look. <laughs> right? Um, and if you have bought your bundle, you know, tomorrow, check it out. Because right? we got a whole slew of classes for you today. Um, Sierra, thank you so much for your time oh my and gosh. for being part my of the honor. bundle. This is so much fun. Thank you, Tiffany, for all you do for your many sleepless nights and for bringing us this total awesomeness. I love it so much. <laughs> thank you so much. All right.